Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I plan my videos and maybe there might be something in my process that might be helpful to you. So if you haven't already, why not take a moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. So I like to go into a video with a solid plan. In my experience, it helps the shooting process run smoother and it just makes for a better video. When making a video, the first thing I like to do is to go through their Instagram feed to kind of get a sense for their brand and their aesthetic. I want my video to suit them. Ideally, I would like to meet with the person before the shoot to discuss their vision or their objective for this video. And preferably, this meeting would take place at the location that the video is going to be shot. This will give me a chance to look around and get a sense of the layout and would also help me when putting together a shot list. For example, in the meeting that I had with the owner of a hair salon in Moncton to discuss the video, she told me that she had 10 team members and she wanted them featured in the video. I was thinking that's kind of impossible, but because I was at the location, I was able to look around and I came up with the idea for this shot. Sometimes it's just not possible to have this meeting before the shoot for whatever reason. The last video that I did, for example, the first time we met in person was on the day of the shoot. And in a situation like that, looking through the Instagram feed uh, is really helpful because you get as much information as you can from that and that information helps you when you show up on the shoot. Okay, so once that meeting is done, now it's time to start putting together your shot list. Now there are mixed opinions about shot lists. Some people think that it stifles creativity. Personally, I disagree with that. Here's why. I like to compare it to uh, when a person goes grocery shopping. Let's say you decide to go grocery shopping and after looking through your fridge or your pantry, you note down all the things that you absolutely need. You're either, either completely out of it or you're running very low. So you, you want to restock those items. So you take all those items and you write out your grocery list. And when you get to the grocery store, you know that you don't want to leave without getting all the items on your list. But while you're shopping, if you see something else and you get an idea for maybe another meal that you want to make or a, a snack or whatever, is there anything preventing you from picking up those items? No. So as long as you get what you need on the grocery list, you can pick up whatever items you see or decide you want to have in addition to that. There's nothing stopping you. A shot list works much the same way. The shots on your shot list are the ones you absolutely need to tell the story. So I know that when I leave that shoot, if I have all of these shots, I will be able to put the video together. But if I'm on site and I get an idea or maybe the client says something that sparks an idea. There's nothing preventing us from shooting that either. So the shot list actually gives you the flexibility or the freedom to be creative. For example, in the last video I did with the fitness coach, there's a shot where she slams down one of those weighted medicine balls. That was an idea that we just came up with on the fly as we were shooting. Uh, that was actually the only shot in the video that wasn't on the shot list. So the shot list didn't stifle creativity uh, in that sense. So that's, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, so there are other benefits of the shot list as well. It makes you look more professional, it keeps the shoot organized, and it saves you time. Instead of thinking about what shot to shoot next, you, you have them all laid out in front of you so you can just go from one to the other and it's a huge time saver. You can get the shoot done uh, very efficiently, which also makes for a better experience for your client. So those are all the benefits of having a shot list, in my opinion. So the night before the shoot, I like to get all my equipment together, lay out everything, maybe clean off some lenses, make sure my batteries, SD cards are all good to go. And I put all that stuff near the front door so that in the morning, 
I don't have to think about any of that stuff. I can just grab it, put it in the car, and go. So I find that going through this process each time I have to shoot a video allows me to make the best video possible. It also makes sure that the experience is good for both me and the client. So that's my process when planning a video. Maybe in a future video I can show you guys the process of actually shooting the video. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, you can leave a comment and let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss another video. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.